calibration of methylene blue dye. So hello guys, today we are going to learn the calibration of methylene blue dye. So first of all, we have to weigh the required amount of dye. The, the amount is around 23 milligram. What you are going to add in 500 ml of the distilled water. Okay, so the uh, concentration is how much? So the concentration is, if this is 22 in 500, so if it is five, uh, 1 litre, it would be around 45 ppm, okay? It's 45. So add please, transfer that, transfer the butter paper, mask. Okay, now add slowly water, so this is around 250, okay? So you have to add another 250, so that would make up the whole volume to 500 ml. You need to switch on the slowly, just slow. So now we'll wait for uh, around half an hour to one hour, so that the whole assortment or mixture is homogeneous okay after that we will do the serial dilution okay and do the calibration okay so the whole assortment is ready which is our methylene blue okay now uh, the second task is that we have to click here on the wavelength scan okay now uh, we have to change the wavelength okay so we will uh, can you just type 400 here 400 okay and the here type 800 please okay now what we will do add the water in the wire mid one okay close it okay now zero okay. so first of all the first step is to do zero okay so normally in the deionized water there would be no compound so the line has to be straight okay around 2 ml 2 to 3 ml of the methane blue okay okay press the button read please okay now wait for a few minutes so that you get the peak so this is my peak we need to check the wavelength okay so what do you see? Uh, corresponding to the wavelength, we have to check the maximum absorbance. Mm. Okay. So if I'm putting doing this way, what do you think? The absorbance is decreasing. Yes. If I'm taking my this way, so what is yes, happening? Increase. Increase. So this is my required lambda max. Okay. So if I'm going this way, also the absorbance is decreasing, and I'm going this way also. The absorbance is here this is the maximum I think okay so let us go this way okay okay so 3.803 and the lambda max is 605 nanometers okay okay so the next step is come come choose the program options go to the program options okay now uh, say new new now the program number is 9006 go ahead okay type okay Okay, press OK. Sir. Okay, now type the user program. Okay, type the user program. Okay, then type B. So we are giving a name that is methylene blue. Okay, now next. Okay, now this is you have to choose single, multi, or free programming. So we'll choose single. Okay, now you want to measure in, in what units? This is gram per liter milligram per liter micro micro is more smaller nano is more smaller okay so we will choose milligram okay and what is the wavelength what was the wavelength Six, uh, 605 type 605 Six, zero. Six. next yes and then any resolution so let's choose 0 0.001 it means if it's 30.001 also it will show you 30 any uh, after decimal places three three digit will show okay yes. so you know to press next Okay, now you need to write the uh, exact chemical form. So it's methylene blue. So you can type methylene blue or you can just say MB. So type MB. MB. MB values, you want to read the standards or you want to read the formula. So you press read standards. Okay, then next. Now you have to add, from here you add zero. Zero means blank, nothing. Okay. And then what you want to start, from where you want to start. So if I want to start from one. Okay, and then I want to start at 2, then let's suppose 5, and then 10, 
and then let's add 20. Sorry. Can go to 20. And then 30. Okay. Sorry. Need to delete this. Okay. Then add 40. So we are going till 40. Okay. And then we will start to scroll up. Then we'll start to zero. And I'm going to work on the calibration now. So now we had done the prepared the stock. So from the stock we have made the serial dilution. So this is our uh, you can see here we added the first of all this is zero and then one two five ten twenty so we had to prepare from the main stock all the solution that we have here this is one ppm and this is two five ten uh, on the increasing side okay so we prepared these uh, the lower concentration using the main stock using the formula which is c1 v1 is equal to c2 v2 Okay, now we would uh, the, uh, prepare our uh, main calibration. So you can start Mansoor. You can add the sample, you can first of all, this is our blank. So put it there. Okay, now we will press zero. Now subsequently, this is our blank sample. So we will press read. So this is zero absorbance. Okay, basically this is reading the, uh, the absorbance. Okay, now try to transfer one ppm from the the bottle, the vial, okay, and then we will read. Can you come? Okay. Read. So this is on the green. Now, now try to clean the vial. Now you will add the second one, two ppm. You see, it's almost double from the previous one. So the absorbers they have to increase. Okay. Now the five ppm. So this is almost double. Okay, it's 0 0.500. You have to add 10. We did 10. Are you sure? We did not do 10. Okay. Okay, no problem. So what we will do, we will first read 20 and then we will go back to the 10 one. Okay? Look. Click on 20 and then read. Yes. So the absorbance is almost, you can see, it's like 0.5 here and this is 10 times around. No, okay. Let's okay. We, no, no. Oh, yeah, 10. You need to go back 10. Now transfer 10 ml, 10 ppm, sorry. And then we'll check the absorbance. Okay. Now press read. Read, read, yeah. Okay. Now you can see this is double. I'm going to check the 30 ppm absorbance. Um, more than the 20 ppm. So now we'll check the last, that is 40 ppm. You have to transfer the 40 ppm. Not a big difference. Okay. What we need to do is to check the. So this is uh, 0 0.9470. It means there are some points that need to be deleted. So if you see the this point is getting out of order. So we delete this and then check. So still there are some points which are going out of order. So if we delete. Uh, Last one, so. Still, the first point, okay. we have to check the first one, okay. Now we are checking 20 ppm again. Add the while here with the dye, 20 ppm. So we'll press read. So it's again, I think it's it's a, this is a problem with this one. Maybe we did the ppm here. Okay, so we'll go back and delete this one. So we need to check one again. Okay. The absorbance of 30 ppm. So press read. Okay. So now we will check the to call the calibration is perfectly very well. So it's 0 0.989. So what we need to do, we'll done. And then we have to store. Okay. Suppose if you want to edit again everything, so you can just edit everything here. Okay. Edit. You can edit. Or you can change the chemical form. So if you want to change again, anything again. So this is my calibration okay, equation. So you know this is y is equal to mx plus c. Okay. And sorry, this is mx and then this is the, the intercept. Okay. Now I want to store. I am stored now. So if you want to exit this whole window, this is my main program. So I will say start. 
and then you need to zero again. You can check it, please. Okay. Yes. We need to check again. With zero. Okay. So this is our 30 ppm. So we'll put it back, please for checking the concentration of unknown samples so our calibration is ready here in the window so add the distilled water please and then we will say zero this is my blank now okay suppose let me see the the resolution now if it was you cho you've chose the one decimal place it will 0, 0.0 and if you chose nothing it will be just zero so put it back as a blank now you can add any one standard, one, two, and then check your calibration. So add 20 or let's suppose you add 30 and 40. Add 10 ppm, please. In the while, we are going to check 10 ppm that the calibration we prepared or stored in our UV is going to really show 10 or not or close to 10 or not. So this is just a check. Or you can say a double check. Add. And also you can see the carousal here inside. It has a, a, a lot of slots. So they are for different size of cubits. So we'll close and then read. No need to do zero again, okay? So 9.429 so is all. almost close to mm -hmm. 10. You know, there is a deviation of 0.5. So 0.5, if you calculate 0.5 in 10, this is less than 5%. So 5 to 10 percent, the deviation from the any the main value is allowed. If the if it reads seven six, any there is a problem in the preparation of your stock, any the the standard. So you need to check that. Clear.